Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and I'm a little bit hammered. That won't stop me from reviewing a bottle of whiskey that I enjoy, though, will it? I'm freaked out halfway through. Hit me right in the tent. This son of a bitch. Redwood Empire, Lost Monarch, American Whiskey. Feeling frisky? Oh yeah, hell yeah, America. That's fine. That's not good. Okay. Oh boy. It's all wet. Sometimes you nail the long pour and sometimes you don't. Nailed that one. Oh, it smells good. This is Redwood Empire Lost Monarch. A blend of straight whiskeys. Sonoma County, California. California, eh? California whiskey. Oh, 90 proof whiskey, American whiskey. That's a blend of straight whiskeys. It's a blend of rye and a blend of bourbon. Now, those two whiskeys are, um, are, are of course aged in new charred oak barrels. In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. John Muir. Latitude and longitude. It's gotta be an address. Latitude and longitude. It's nature's address. Head distiller. Duckhorn. Joe Duckhorn. Duck horn. A range of whiskeys inspired by the great Redwood. Northern. Yeah, every every bottle that the Redwood Empire label puts out is named after a tree. The beard and the birds and the trees and the G's and the good and the good and the yummy whiskeys. It is a bourbon rye combination. Combination. Combination and the artwork is so pretty. The artwork is something that I would dream about in a dream after I did 7,000 pounds of marijuana. So creepy and cool. It's like there's so much going on that I don't even, I think I'm probably, there's, there's Roman numerals. There's, it's textured. Here, listen. You can hear the texture of the label. Smell. Can you smell? Can you smell? Oh, it's a glorious. What is that? It's immediate mandarin oranges. Mandarin oranges and like a like a Capri Sun fruit pouch liquid mixed with extreme amounts of alcohol. Candies, like a hard candy, like a jawbreaker candy. One of the ones that you try to bite, but then your teeth are like, we're not as strong as the jawbreaker. Hence the name, jawbreaker. Some cinnamon. The nose, this might be, okay, I'm not kidding. This is, this is me not kidding. This is my serious face right here. This might be one of the best smelling bourbons I have ever smelled. Okay, back to normal face. This is delicious smelling. Oh, man, it's getting like a cherry. You know those lemon heads, but they have the cherry heads? 
the cherry lemon heads. That's what this is. Also a lemon head. This smells fantastic. The, one of the best noses on the planet. The nose is still fantastic. The palate, the palate, you're not overwhelmed with anything because it's only 90 proof, but it is pleasing. You're getting the same hard candy flavors, hard rock hard candy, like a rock candy. Oh, like those rock candies, the hard crystallized rock candies. That's what this is. A blend of stray whiskeys. Lost Monarch is a blend of straight rye whiskeys and straight bourbon whiskeys aged at least three years. Aging our barrels in the temperate climate of Northern California allows for a slow and even extraction of flavor, obviously. Producing a whiskey of exceptional balance and complexity. It is exceptionally balanced and exceptionally complex. It is delicious for a 90 proof. I only paid $30 for this bottle. For $30, this is one of the best whiskeys ever. For 30 bucks. Inspired by a true gentleman, John Muir. I am also a true gentleman. So, known as the father of our natural parks. And by natural, I mean national. Known as the father of our national parks, John Muir was influential, was an influential naturalist and early advocate for the preservation of the American wilderness. As a writer, John Muir's philosophy regarding the spiritual union of man and nature inspires our distillery in the heart of the Redwood Empire, which is like a forest of trees. Bitch trees. All I want is more of this, please. And if you don't got my money, then the Lost Monarch, the world's largest coast redwood by volume. The 320 feet tall, like my penis, 26 feet in diameter, like, yeah. Lost Monarch can be found in the Grove of Titans, a legendary stand of ancient con conifers in Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park. Here, amid lush ferns and densely matted epiphytes, Lost Monarch reigns over some of the world's largest trees just like this whiskey reigns over some of the industry's best whiskeys age at least three years and it's got trees on the barcode so you know they mean business buy a bottle and we'll plant a tree I'll buy a tree and you'll plant a tree see what I did price wonderful nose beyond wonderful palate taste Wonderful. Label, artwork, story, wonderful. This is a must buy. If you don't buy one of these and you have the opportunity to, you're an idiot. Sorry, I said it. You're dumb. But if you do have the opportunity to buy one of these and you do, you'll say that was a great idea. I'm glad that I had it. Even though you didn't have it, I had it. And I didn't even have it. Other people had it before me, but I'm, I'm going to take the credit because I take credit where credit is due. And when it's not due, I take credit when credit is available, no matter who it's due to. I'll take that and I'll take that too. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds and your head on trees. Her. Keep your head in the clouds and your clouds in the trees that are on your head. Like, 
comment, subscribe. What's your favorite blend of American whiskeys? Is it Burai? Is it Sonnet Burai? Is it this guy? What do you think or what do you like?